An archetype is essentially a combat playstyle that will determine the skills and passives that you have access to. When you first create a character, you'll have to pick one of the available archetypes to begin with. Each archetype has its own panel in the skill tree menu by pressing K on your keyboard, which includes a range of skills passives that are exclusive to that archetype. There are currently eight archetypes to choose from. You've got archery, which utilizes range combat, slows and snares to keep the distance from the enemy while hitting them with powerful hits. They're also able to do strong area damage and venomous damage over time. Holy is essentially the main healer archetype with the ability to heal themselves and allies with single target healing, area healing and healing over time to keep themselves and their group safe while also outputting strong holy damage to enemies. Protection possesses many strong defensive capabilities making them perfect for tanking. While they're able to taunt, they are not just good for tanking. They're able to be paired with any archetype to increase survival by self-healing and reducing incoming damage. Shadow makes use of the shadows to assassinate targets with their powerful critical strikes, while also slowing, snaring, stalking, and debuffing them. Spiritual utilizes damage shields, healing over time, and buffing capabilities to provide themselves and their groups with extra utility. They combine well with many other archetypes to increase survival and buffing capabilities as well. Warfare is a melee focused barbarian style with impactful area damage, crowd control and life leeching capabilities. Witchcraft curses enemies, deals strong damage over time, leeches enemies health and weakens their targets. Wizardry is an elemental magic class that utilizes powerful single target and area fire damage to output great damage, but they can also utilize ice attacks for damage, snaring and freezing their enemies. In total, you're able to combine the use of three archetypes at one time. Your second archetype becomes available at Legacy Level 7, and you unlock the third at Legacy Level 15. Upon reaching Legacy Level 15, you gain the ability to switch your archetype and use any that you like. Be careful when switching archetype as your character may not be as strong when you equip a lower level archetype. So if you're equipping it for the first time, it will be level one, and you'll be much harder to kill enemies that are higher level. Upon choosing three archetypes in total, these will combine together to create a specific class. There are many different possible combinations that will create one of a 56 possible available different classes. So if we take an example, if you choose Warfare, Shadow and Protection as your three archetypes, this would make your class a Dark Knight. If you switch Shadow over to Holy, this would change it into a Paladin class. Another important factor relating to this system is that on your main game screen, you will have a level bar and this is your legacy level, which is a combination of all your character's total experience among all of the archetypes. Then you've also got each archetype and it has its own individual level. So if you change your archetypes around often, you could, for example, have all of your archetypes at level 20, but you might be legacy level 25 plus or something like that. Then you have your current effective level. This is the average level of the three archetypes that you have active at that moment. And you can see this by pressing K to access your skill tree and looking at the number next to the class, which will show you your current effective level. Legacy level is important for unlocking different quests and content in the game, but it isn't a distinct value of how strong you currently are. Your effective level is the important factor to look at, as this will show you what enemies you'll be more capable of killing. If you're effective level 30, but you have a legacy of level 50, and you're trying to kill a level 50 enemy, you'll have a much more difficult time since you are actually effectively 20 levels lower, making these enemies a lot harder to kill. The whole archetype system allows you to have more customization of your character and playstyle, but it also allows you the advantage of reducing or increasing your effective level so that you're able to hunt a variety of different enemies in a larger variety of locations. The main perk that makes this archetype system so useful is that by leveling all of your archetypes and not just your main three, you'll gain additional skill points and attributes that will benefit your current active class. These are called inactive skill points, which you're able to see on the skill tree menu by hovering over the eye symbol. This will show you how many skill points are active from your current active classes that you're using, but also the inactive archetypes that you're not using. You don't get the full amount of skill points from inactive classes because that would be too powerful. Instead, they will give you additional points at certain thresholds. For example, you'll gain one extra skill point for having an archetype that is level 10 and not being used. And if you got every inactive archetype up to level 10, that would equate to multiple skill points. You'll then gain another at level 20 and then again at level 30. And there are various levels which will reward skill points and others that will do the same with attributes. So you also gain attributes as well. 
Someone who has three archetypes at level 30 will be much weaker than somebody who has all of their archetypes at level 30, even though you will both share the same effective level. This is because somebody who's leveled everything will have access to more attributes to increase their stats, but also more skill points, giving them access to additional skills and passives that the other player might not be able to get. This is especially useful because the more you progress through your skill trees, the more expensive the skills cost, so you will require a lot more skill points. And having more of them is vital for maximizing your combat efficiency. If you want to maximize your character, it's always a good idea to level up all of the archetypes, which not only gives you the extra skill points and attributes, but also allows you the versatility to switch to different playstyles and different builds that might be better suited to different situations. So if you need more survivability, maybe go in with the protection class, maybe you need more healing, so you switch to holy, and it might even allow you to switch roles, so going from damage dealer to a tank or a healer. So that is everything for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.